if you want to learn a mobile application then you are on right channel because we are going to learn here from beginning to end everything step by step and from basic and within short period of time so we'll today we are going to learn react native login page so we will make a login page using this uh, code so you you can see here so for this actually we will use snag.expo.dev so this is online editor and uh, we will start from very beginning and very start actually we will not write any code here and from here we will write everything and we'll go step by step so i will teach you just will i will take like few few minutes and we'll teach each and every step what's going inside this so it will be really helpful for you to make any kind of your mobile applications so now without any further delay we are going step by step and line by line very slowly so thank you so much for starting and watching to my video hi and welcome to my channel so today we are going to learn react native as we know so without any further delay we are going to step by step now the first step we are going to import the library from react everything so we are importing react import react from react library now we will import some other thing like view style button from uh, react native so we taken the style sheet from and now text view so these are all the things we are importing from uh, react native because we are going to use these all the things in our code so this is very important here to use namespace or importing the things from library now we will write one export so we imported all this from this react native these values okay so moving forward <clears throat> we have written export function and this export default function login screen so this is the function name login screen we are opening and then we will return so this is very important here and while exporting we have to return everything then only we can able to see uh, our result in the simulator so moving forward we will take one view and in that view so we are creating trying to take one here box it will be a big box so it will cover entire screen and we will name is as a container so okay we have taken one view we will take another view also to take our uh, login uh, information like uh, and password and button these are all the things will fall inside the these things actually so main so have written a class name main box so this class name we are going to use uh, on the bottom as you will see later now we are taking one text and this text is for like login text and we are giving this name like login so okay it will display here on the top of the banner in the login page okay so now we are taking one other view for inbox and inside this will take one text for our text box email id okay so we are taking this inbox label and giving name as a email okay so we are closing this tag and this is done now we are moving forward and taking one more input box this is just a label so we we have to ca capture email id through the text box so here the text box is like a input text input okay so in that text input we will create some style so that it will be look good input so we have defined this style as a input and auto complete we are making false because this we want to type username and password for the user <coughs> okay so key type emails address so this will be display as a watermark in the text box so that user can understand they have to enter email over there okay so text content type we have taken email address 
okay now we are closing the tag and this is one text box is completed similarly we will take one another view and insert we are closing that view and we will take another view and in that view we will take like a password related information so here again we will type text and then a style equals to a styles dot uh, input level and then we are writing password so this is just a what level and in this level afterward we will take input text input and so that the password will capture over here okay so style equal to styles dot input so we taken as an input auto complete will make false so okay we have made false now <clears throat> moving forward and security text entry will make to true so it will be understand it will be like uh, uh, yeah it will be like secure information or related to that actually so text content type we will write password okay because we have to hide the password inside uh, uh, text box so it's very important otherwise we, while typing we can see the password uh, character that's not quite good actually okay so now we close the tag and we are closing the view and also we'll close another view uh, touchable of city we are taking so this is like a button whatever uh, event is happening it's going to capture this uh, touchable opacity okay so this is done we are taking one more text and this text login button text and then we are this is just a button for login so okay we are closing that now this is done okay touchable opacity we have taken one more so that's it now for text okay here we have taken a button again for displaying but in this case okay we took i think all right so now forget okay so we are giving now one link for forget password okay so if a user has forget that then they can clean that link and they can reset their password all right so we are closing the view and uh, we need to close another view and that's it for now so this thing till here it's done now we will write the css uh, i mean so style sheet because this style sheet you can see all are displaying some error so if you will see our result now it will not display any anything because it will throw error to us so we will write one style so constant a style and the style sheet dot create here okay so dot create and then we will open that and here we will uh, define all the style sheet whatever we have used uh, on our page so we are taking container as we discussed this is main container we will set flags equal to and then we will like position will make center uh, relatives yeah sorry relatives yeah relative is fine and then uh, margin top 100 pixel because it should come in the center okay now we are moving forward actually we are not learning here style sheet so okay we can uh, take that but still actually for beginner they can see we are setting width and height we will align self center okay so the main box style sheet also bottom 30 pixels we are setting okay shadow color we are setting color over here and then opacity we are giving 0.25 and radius we are also setting 3.84 and evaluation 5 okay and now we are closing that so this main box things is done over here now we will go for another and we'll move a little bit faster width of a city have we reset width equal to zero height one and shadow down of a city we set 0 0.2 and evaluation now we closed and similarly for other things so login uh title text we are setting okay so margin top we have taken tens all right so now we are login box main top and inbox here 
okay so now we are setting class for input it will take width 100 percent and height 40 background color we will take some color and border radius we are setting 4 and uh, then padding horizontal something yeah so login button we are setting css for login button now margin we are giving and then vertical radius we setting and the text for text we are giving now so login button text align center font size we are setting it's a 20 you can take anything whatever you want it's nothing is like a hard code rule we need to take 20 it's based on our requirement okay so forget password css now we are creating and that's it we need to close that so here we closed and now here it's a time so we have written the entire code with css our main purpose to learn uh, the main content here so css for css i will give you in detail in other episode or other video all right so now it's a time to see our result okay so i'm just going to see our things on ios how it's look like in ios but the thing is here our request went in queue so we need to wait uh, for a while because it will take some time okay so we are waiting on position two so once this queue is zero then only we can see the result here this here we need to wait uh, i hope so it should come first okay so there is no more queue yeah so now it's loading thank god uh yeah so it's a start loading and hope so we will not get any error and uh, our uh, requirement will be fulfilled as we expected so it's taking some time initializing the app okay so launching the app now and uh, ready yeah so it's connected thank god so here we see the result of the things actually so login this login you can see here it's a displaying this uh, uh, text we have taken mm, login text here so suppose we are making login uh, screen on the header so it will take login screen it will come immediately here so you can see here login screen uh, email suppose i'm taking changing the email address email email address see so it's changing immediately so this is actually working fine now we will see here if we are typing if, if we will click here or press here in it so you will see one uh, like keyboard here all right so we are typing here test at rate gmail.com so it's typing nicely and suppose i'm giving password it's hiding and displaying properly so i hope uh, actually this video is really helpful for you guys who want to learn the code uh, in react native so similarly actually we can make other uh, screen also it's not like you know so if you if, if you feel any hey uh, anything really interesting so please i will i will request you to uh, like my channel thank you so much